Hello and welcome to the short board on Parshas Pinchas. On Sunday I saw my nephew Pinny Pinchas, and I had the zuchus that they were part of the family, but still four generations of Levies and their descendants there. And uh, the great-grandparents were on a split level, a higher they were on the deck, while the grandchildren great-grandchildren were very safely uh, far away on the grass level. And it turns out, I double-checked, Pincha spells his name Pein Nun Chesamach, which is the common way to spell it. We'll get to that soon. And the next day, on Monday, I had a Zoom shia with Rabbi Daniel Gladstein, and they were talking about how Eliyahu and Pinchas were one and the same. And one of the ways to connect that is the gematria, the numerical value of the letters of the name Eliyahu, is 52. And if you multiply that by 4, then you get 208, which is the gematria of Pinchas, Peininches Samach. Actually, I tend to uh, double check the gematrias, and Peininches Samach is only 198. So I figured it must be that they're including the Yud that's often seen as in the Torah, Pe Yud Nun Chesamach, and then it becomes 208 equals 52 times 4. Now, in Rav Chaim Kanevsky on Chumash, it tells about one time someone came to Rav Chaim Kanievsky Shlita, and he said, you know, why is it I looked in the Torah, I used a computer, and every time it says Pinchas, it's spelled Male, a full letter, full combination with, with, with the Yud in there. Uh, and so why is it that we go against the Torah and people commonly spell Pinchas without a Yud? So Rav Chaim Kanievsky answered that there actually is one time in the Torah that it refers to someone, and that's Eli HaKohen's son Pinchas, that it's spelled Pe Nun Chesamach. He said that the computer is not in a Lamdan, uh, because he didn't realize that there's a Vav before Pinchas, saying and Pinchas, and that was actually the name. And so there is one time that the computer missed that does say Pinchas the way that we commonly spell it. So why is it in fact that we spell the Torah, in the Torah we usually spell it Mole Pe Yud Nun Ches and when it comes to people's names, we, we drop the Yud. So Rav Kanievsky says that the Zohar tells us the reason that Pinchas has a Yud in the Torah is because Pinchas was rewarded for his great dedication and risk that he took in on behalf of the Bnei Yisrael to end the plague that killed 24,000 people. So he merited having a Yud which corresponds to Hashem's name added to his name. But for everyone else, then we spell a Pein Nun Chesamach the regular way that we do it now. Thank you for listening. Have a wonderful week and a wonderful Shabbos.